Welcome to Willow Bank. My name is Kirsty and I'm part of the management team here at Willow Bank. Willow Bank is a family owned business, originally a small backyard zoo. The focus and theme has changed over the years. Your journey through Willow Bank is a story. The story of Aotearoa New Zealand through our wildlife, culture and heritage. We want to show you all the amazing things that we do here. Why people love coming and we'd also like to show you some of the amazing conservation efforts that we're involved in. And so here at Willow Bank you can get up really close to a kia or a kaka or a takahe and um, you really get to get excited about the bird that's right in front of you. My favourite part of the job is probably the tangible outcomes of the conservation work. You actually get to see results from what you do um, from a day-to-day -day basis. So I get to make an environment for some Pataki, some brown teal, I get to breed them, get to raise the babies in the enclosure and then I get to release them to the wild through other conservation programs. So uh, I can really see the whole thing from start to finish as a native keeper at Willow Bank and that's um, pretty unusual for, for zoos anywhere in the world. So uh, we're really fortunate at Willow Bank to have a pair of takahe and uh, up till now they've been a kind of a retired pair that's not really part of the breeding program anymore and just in the last wee while we've had news that we'll be getting a new pair that hopefully will be a breeding pair and so we can really start to contribute to the conservation of take in the wild so releasing babies that are reared by their parents here at Willowbank into um, places where the Department of Conservation needs birds. The, the zoo environment does have a real role to play in wild conservation and I think more and more we're becoming part of the, the wild conservation um, kind of tool set that people can use to, to save species in the wild. So there's kind of a dual purpose for kiwi at Willowbank. Uh, we have the captive side, which are the North Island Browns that are held on site. These are guys who stay with us. Um, some of them are held in the kiwi house that's behind me um, for advocacy and display purposes that the public can see. And then the other half of kind of what we do is Operation Nest Egg. So we work with um, the Department of Conservation, Papua Wildlife Trust, um, and other community groups. And we facilitate eggs being brought in from the wild. They're incubated on our incubation room and those eggs produce beautiful chicks that are then reared and released back into the wild. And we do that with the great spotted kiwi and we provide pre-release cray sites for roey kiwi as well, who are all released back into the wild. So we have two eggs already incubating and in a couple months, I'll start hearing from the great spotted team and they'll be bringing in maybe six plus eggs. And then when we hear from the roey team, they'll bring in I don't know, sometimes it's 55 chicks. I think at one point we had 60 kiwi on site. That got a little busy. That was crazy. <laughs> I love it. Um, so incubation is my favorite part of working with the kiwi. I really enjoy the process of kind of watching the embryo develop inside the egg. So we have to candle twice a week to watch development. And then the week of hatch is so exciting because you get to watch every day as something progresses. And at the end, you usually have a very cute chick who's just gorgeous and ready to go. The farmyard here at Willowbank is full of a lot, it's a snapshot of the past essentially. So there's a lot of rare and heritage breeds that we have been able to, or very lucky to be able to preserve here in New Zealand in today's time. Um, these are Auckland Island pigs. These guys were found on Auckland Island, which is part of the Subantarctic Islands off the coast of New Zealand. Um, these guys have actually been removed from the island as part of the dock eradication program, but they were genetically very, very different from other pigs found wild in other areas. So Michael Willis, one of the founders of Willowbank, set out with a few other people to preserve this particular breed of pig. And here we have one of our beautiful females over here having a nap. So the reason that we do this is obviously to conserve genetic material. Um, that is, first and foremost, we don't want these breeds to go extinct. As a conservation organisation, even domestic animals are part of that. So it is really great to be able to get people really close to these animals that, again, they've never seen. So even the sheep up here, they look completely different to what you'd see in a paddock. 
So it's just getting people aware that there is more than one breed or one type of animal that they might have seen before. I've been doing this nearly 10 years, not necessarily working with domestics, but I've worked with a whole range of animals. Um, animals is obviously a passion of mine. So yeah, it's a really rewarding job, especially being in such a hands-on section. I can see, you know, people's faces and expressions as they meet these animals, as they get to feed them, as they get to interact with them. And it's a really rewarding job. So currently we're really developing the exotic section here at Willow Bank. So our purpose and our focus is giving immersive opportunities. So we've just rebuilt our cockatoo aviaries. We have a walkthrough space, which gives the public a chance to get up close and personal, but it also gives our birds a choice whether they want to interact with the public or they can hang back off the pathway and do their own thing still. Two years ago we were lucky enough to have four capybara boys come down to us from Auckland Zoo and they are one of the lucky species who have just moved into their new home. So this habitat gives us the opportunity to rotate through different pond spaces, different grass areas, it gives a close viewpoint for the public while also making sure the capybara have access to grazing, adequate spacing and also a really nice warm bed for night time. So I love the different changes, no day is ever the same but the exotic species, their intelligence and their personalities gives us a chance to bond with them and form relationships and I also get the opportunity to interact with the public to add for the species that I really care about and hopefully make our own little bit of difference to what's happening in the wild. So we were lucky enough to welcome eight Indian star tortoises to join us here at Willow Bank. This species is really important, they've just been added to the CITES 1 list which classes them as vulnerable and at risk of extinction. This species is really in danger from the pet trade overseas and we have the opportunity to use them to encourage people to think about what they want in their own lives. Giving the people the opportunity to see an animal up close means that people are more likely to take a lasting message home with them. You can read about an animal on a page, piece of paper but it doesn't mean you're going to connect to them but doing things like our ringtail learner experience or the capybara experiences are starting soon. It's going to give us a chance to really kind of interact with people the way we want to, nice and in depth and hopefully have the chance for people to take home some conservation messages. Willow Bank Wildlife Preserve welcomes everyone.